Alrighty, hey, what's going on guys? Semanion here and today we are back with another video for you guys So let's get right into it. So today we are going to be exploring the ore processing uh, methods of this lovely mod Let's get right into it Isn't that just so satisfying that sliding blast door? Anyway, let's get right into it. So last time we uh, studied our uh, we showed you all most of the power options in the HPM Nuclear Tech mod, which is right over there. Just watch my uh, previous video. <coughs> I'm going to close that up. And we got that area hooked up to this area right over here, which has all this fun stuff, like these weird buildings. We're going to be showing these two things last, and the things back here last. Alright, let's get right into it. So first things are, first we have an arc furnace, which is very nice. It's like a, a glorified welder then, basically. <laughs> Alright, so we got our graphite electrodes and we have dash electrodes. These are more expensive than the uh, graphite electrodes, but I think they work faster. And you say, well, anyway, so you just take a random, uh, <laughs> throw your graphite uh, electrodes in here and you start smelting stuff. Now, it smells stuff pretty freaking fast, I'm not gonna lie. Like, look how quickly it smelts that. Like, that's kind of overpowered, not gonna lie. So it's gonna start smelting all that. Just keep uh, feeding it. Eventually you're gonna get a little uh, specialty item, which is absolutely worthless. <laughs> Alrighty, so eventually it will turn to these molten electrodes, and that means you can't use the arc furnace electrodes anymore. So then we gotta swap them out. We're using the dash electrodes this time, which appears to be almost as, like, pretty much the same speed as the other one, maybe a little faster. Look at that. Very nice. Anyway, now, next to the next furnace, which is the electric furnace. Just basically grab your big uh, little battery. This has battery support, so you could just, you know, mine this, put it on anywhere. You don't need a cable. If you don't have like a power source, but if you have batteries, you just use a battery instead. Start smelting stuff. It's not as quick as the arc furnace, as you can tell already. It's kind of slow. So, you might just want to use this, because look how fast this is compared to this. It's, this is probably the same speed as a regular furnace, honestly. And I've got all the ores and stuff for that. But yeah. You can pretty much smelt any ores in here if you want to. This stuff it takes a lot longer though. That's not really fun. All right next we have the electric boiler, which can boil. Um, let's see what it can boil here. It can boil water. Make steam for your turbines. Look, oh ho ho! This so, like produces regular steam. I so. Yeah, no super dense steam out of this. Well, you could you could use uh, it to get water, or you could take crude oil. Switch that with crude oil, and you could make hot crude oil, which you, you'll actually need for like the next uh, part of this mod, which is the uh, like oil refining, refining and stuff to get like some like diesel and stuff, basically. <coughs> Anyway, so you got that part. It takes a lot longer to uh, make hot crude oil than it does to make steam. Alright, now that part's done. Next part is the centrifuges, yes. So, for these, for the gas centrifuge, there's two types of uh, gas that you can put in here. You could use the uh, uranium hexafluoride, which is in the white uh, cell, or you could use the uh, plutonium hexafluoride, which is in the uh, like dark gray blackish uh, cell. <laughs> anyway, so basically, what you do is you want to set it to the correct thing. Let's sorry, set to the correct thing for the uranium. So then you just throw that in there, and it's gonna start. Uh, it's gonna start doing centrifuge stuff, which means it's gonna start like dividing everything out, you know, basically. And you get these little nuggets, you know, like, uh, little grain nuggets. Now you could use this to craft fuel rods or, like, 
um, nuclear weapons and stuff. I think it's just fuel rods for the uranium. Yeah, let me see here. Yeah, so for that, you would probably um, just... I might, I think you might, you actually get some fluorite too. Like, there's a small chance you might get some fluorite. All right, we'll show you what what uh, what kind of uh, stuff you can use this for in the next episode. All right, so we're gonna grab. Yeah, before we do that, we need to get a hazmat kit, which I forgot, because this is very very hazardous. There we go, much better. <laughs> Basically, you just take that. Oh, yes, we got some more. Uranium 235, you could use this for bombs and stuff. Nuclear weapons. Should have thought of it years ago. All right. Now we're going to switch this bad puppy over to plutonium hexafluoride. There we go. It's going to start doing its fun stuff and start. Uh, Making some fun stuff for us. You can also use this in like a. This is probably for like uranium. Like this is probably for I don't know what. Okay, I'll be honest. I don't know what it's for. Well, I'm learning with you all. Look at these little nuggets. <coughs> Which is really nice. Yeah. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do here is there's a uh, yeah that does that goes into the breeding reactor, which turns into uh, uh, neptunium, whatever the heck that is. And you can always use this in the uh, nuclear power furnace, which is also nice. Uranium two thirty three and okay. That's not the stuff we're looking for. I have no idea what this stuff's for, so... <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me. I have no idea. Honestly. <laughs> like, I think it's used for, like, nuclear weapons. I'm not really sure. Like, the little boy and stuff. Don't know. Don't know. Yep. Okay, yeah. That is. Okay. I'm not completely stupid. Uranium-235 pellet and subcritical uranium-235 target. With the uh, propellant and the, the um, igniter. Very fun stuff. <laughs> Just wait till we get to that part, which is... Uh, I, um, hmm, it's all a little bit down the road, honestly. I think it also works for the... Uh, Fat Man too. Oh, there's there's quite a lot of Fat Man. Oh yeah, plutonium core. Okay, so this uses the uh, plutonium two thirty nine that we're getting from extracting all this. It's not really much. So it's really expensive. But once you extract all that, you can start making the uh, plutonium core for the uh, uh, Fat Man and the other ones as well. <coughs> Which is pretty nice. Anyway, I'm just gonna let that do its thing. It takes quite a long time, really, to, uh, you know, spin it all around in the centrifuges. Ooh, quite the lag. Alright, so next we have a regular centrifuge. So basically, you can take anything, like gold for instance, and just gonna spin it around really fast. really fast and boom we get gold powder which then we can smelt to make gold ingots I think <laughs> I'll be honest we're not quite certain we're just throwing science at the wall here see what sticks <laughs> so basically you can throw anything random in here like let's say you want emeralds Let's clean this bad puppy out, and then you get an emeralds, man. We don't play no games. 
it does take not as nearly as long as the other one. Here's all the recipes. Like you put coal in there or something. Diamonds. Oh, you could put freaking yeah. You know how cool that's pretty cool. And you're gonna need some of this stuff for the yeah, like cobalt powder and whatnot. Like look at that. Isn't that just nice? We literally get three just from its uh centrifuging or whatever for once. Look look at that. That's that's nice. You can't say it's not. Alright, next we have the electric press. We also have a regular press, which is not as exciting, honestly. Alright, I probably should do the uh, furnaces first, actually. Like, the big furnaces. Which are called advanced factories. So basically what we have for these is we have a basic factory cluster for energy cluster for this one. Uh, you need this even if you do have power running through the floor or whatever and connected to the factory somehow. And you can take any one of these uh, resources here. That'd be titanium, scarabium, tunskin, or wh whatever. You just throw that in there, it's going to start smelting it. It's going to start having a good time. Oh, it's got a little, you know, it puts in a little queue, you know. It's just, oh, and that's like that. We got ingots, like tons of ingots and berlinium. Very nice. Now, this is slow. That's the only bad side to this one. Which is, that's okay, though, because then we can upgrade to get the advanced factory, which is quite a bit faster, actually. I think, anyway. It's not, at least, it's not as slow as that one. Alright, so basically, shove everything in here like we did before, and watch the magic happen. Look at that, that's much faster than the other one. Honestly, and it smelts four items at a time, too. Which is kind of freaking crazy, honestly. Like, look at that. Look at that. It's, it's wasting practically no time to freaking do that. This is still on four ingots right here. This is, um... Probably gonna beat it soon, actually. Like just like a couple more times. Like this is so slow. It's a race, honestly. Okay, ooh, it's getting. It's actually kind of. It's really close, honestly. If this thing can like pick it up by a freaking centimeter. Ooh, it's beat. It beat it. Ha. I think. Yep, it's beating it. It's it's really it's really beating it. <laughs> oh, yep, that's nice. That isn't it though. All right, so you could take any of these bad puppies that we got here, and now we can show off the ah uh, uh, yes, the electric press. So basically, you can take any one of these little uh, templates here, stamps, and you can make stuff out of it. Let's say if I just want to um. Say if I want some wire or something. I think it only works for copper, but I'm not sure. Anyway, you just click on this. Throw it in there. Throw whatever item you want to freaking... Okay. Whatever item that is. Copper. Oh boy. This is... Alright. Let's try a different freaking stamp. How about that? Alright. Plate stamp. Yeah, let's do this one. Say so you just take anything. Like a plate stamp, whatever. This is not making me look good. What the freak? Oh. Ain't that something. I didn't know that, honestly. So you can actually take stuff and smash it until uh, it becomes something very nice. Oh, I had it backwards. Okay. You know what? That's why it didn't work. <laughs> I'm kind of dumb. I'm honestly going to say that right now. I'm kind of dumb. I was like, why is it not working? Any oh, okay, you know what? Actually, yeah, we're going to see if we can actually make some of these. Hold on. We could use any one of these. It's from, like, worst to uh, best tier, which is... Th this is the best tier, honestly. Last longest. Oh, dear. So, basically, it's, it smashes it. Look at that. Isn't that nice, honestly? <clears throat> I just now figured this out, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so yeah, put it, you pull a flat stamp in there and start stamping out your powdered dust. And mm, it's a fun time for you. I just figure that, oh god, I feel kind of dumb, honestly. This it'll last way less long. See, it's like like five stamps and it's already done. Like, honestly, this could at least go for a thousand or more, honestly. But that's the uh, stamp. Uh, electric stamp. There is a... Uh, there is a um, regular press, which is... Uh, I mean, it's okay, you know, but it's not as good as the electric one, honestly. Like, if you got, like, pat generators, then you'd probably want to go with that, honestly. Like, honestly. Because so you have to warm up the other one, and you have to make sure it's the correct temperature and whatnot. It's really a pain, honestly. 22? This is a 18. Ha! You suck. <laughs> you po Disappointment. Friggin' stupid cube. We have a good cube. Big cube. Alright. Next, we have the RTG Furnace. We still have our hazmat suit on, which is pretty good because these are radioactive. Pretty much like everything else in this mod, practically. Well, you just throw these bad puppies in there. You need three of these to power up the RTG Furnace, but it almost lasts forever. Which is pretty good, honestly. If it almost lasts forever, then that's good enough for me. Alright, so we're going to start smelting gold. Now, it is not the fastest furnace. It's not as fast as the arc furnace. But it's probably comparable to a regular furnace, actually. So you don't have to keep shoveling coal in there every five seconds. Which is honestly not bad. That's kind of actually a pain when you have to shovel coal in there every five seconds. <laughs> honestly. Alright. And the next one we have is the breeding reactor, which, uh, hey, yeah, we'll be back in a second. Yeah, back in a second, totally. Alrighty, so we are back, and we have a full chest of fun stuff. Anyway, we can use everything in here except for the uranium-233. Yeah, anyway. So, the first thing you want to do is have your quad rod, or whatever size, it doesn't have to be a quad rod, per se, you know. So you want to have a, like, one, a rod, it doesn't matter which type, but I'm, I'm going for the, uh, 400 operations in my, uh, freaking thing, which is, I, okay, that was not, the 80 operations, I was looking at the wrong thing. We you to use this as for a nuclear power for, oh, frick, I forgot I exi that existed. You know what? It's fine. Every, everything's fine. <laughs> Alright, so basically you throw some random fuel rod in there and you hope it works. I honestly don't know. Okay, what's... Let's see. Oh, it was working. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm not stupid, per se, you know. I mean, I kind of am, but you know. It takes quite a long time, actually. That's one cool. <clears throat> that would be cool. Just take one of these, throw it, throw it in here, throw another one of these in here. It ain't gonna do nothing. Watch. Oh wait, it is. Oh boy. Yeah, but you can also use these in nuclear power furnaces. Though it's it's kind of expensive, honestly. That's it's gonna take a long time, but here's all the recipes and stuff. I have no idea what I'm making right now, but th that's that's fine, you know. You gotta have that little bit of a you know, adventure, adventure, yes. But if you so if you put thorium two thirty two in there, you're gonna get uh, uranium uh, two thirty three. Pretty nice, I think. I don't know. I'm not a nuclear physicist by any means. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let's see here. You can also freaking 
make hot cellophite and boiling cellophite, which is cool, actually. For if you want to use it for a uh, radioactive engine, I guess. Okay, so what I did there was basically took the SA uh, 327 and put it into a burnt out scrabium for your rod. Which contains a small element of an unknown substance. It's shy. Don't look at it. Okay. <laughs> look at that. Oh, yes. This stuff is very, very, even more expensive than everything is, actually. We'll show you this and a, another, the uh, full suit of this in the uh, upcoming episode. Anyway. Have all the other rods here too. Not as not as exciting stuff, honestly. Now you probably wouldn't want to have the uh, not a knife items mod like I do, even though it has actually um, appeared to have disappeared. Yeah, that's that's not really nice. All right, so we got some stuff here. So first things first. High speed steel. <clears throat> Basically, put the coal in here, put the scrabium nugget up there, put that in there. I think that makes high. Uh, yeah, I actually have no idea. <clears throat> That's gonna take your whole entire thing, which is nice. Next is steel, just regular steel. <clears throat> it's kind of a guessing game, honestly. <laughs> My memory is as good as a potato. Okay, it takes a long time, honestly. Okay, now that's a magnetized ton skin. Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Magnetized ton skin. You could use this for a lot of stuff, including the bricks for this, I think. Yeah. Very nice bricks. These are comp something completely different. Don't even worry about these right now. Make these lovely little blocks, that's all you need to know with this lovely uh, stuff right here. Which is basically just poisonous mud. Yeah. Oh, I needed two of those. I needed some of this for the actual. Uh, okay, here. Yeah. Oh boy. So that's the uh, tungsten. This makes this makes the highest field uh, ingot. This makes the uh, Saturnite. This makes uh, uh, we'll find fucking out, huh? You may notice that I'm starting to feel kind of woozy. That's probably the Scrabium nugget that's in my inventory, or it might be the crushed up moon rocks. Grind them up, and mix them into a gel. Guess what? Crushed and moon rocks are your poison. <laughs> I am definitely ill. This makes Saturnite, I think. This makes uh, regular copper. Yeah. Not industrial grade, just regular copper. No, that makes the worker alloy. Uh, no, the advanced alloy uh, ingots and stuff. This makes napalm, this makes uh, the uh, PAA uh, armor or something, I think. Honestly, don't quote me on any of this. Okay, yep, I am not feeling good. Okay, it's time for some raid away. Don't mind me, guys. <laughs> oh, gosh. Just freaking go full send on it. I'm tired of being sick. Radiation poisoning is no joke, honestly. Alright, I want to know what this makes. I think it makes the neutron reflectors or something. Last time I checked, I that's what it made. Oh, one. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so let's gonna make the neutron reflectors. This, uh, yep, that's the high steel, um, high speed uh, steel ingot. This makes napalm. 
I actually don't know what napalm can be. This napalm can be used for. But we craft a napalm with slime ball and diesel. This is basically hmm, totally how you do it. Today, Junior. Still waiting. Give me it. Give me it. I know you have it. Neutron reflectors. Yes. You get four of those bad puppies by using that recipe. All right. Next is the uh, um copper. Uh, I'll look at the recipe again. It's not the copper I want. Yeah, steel and Minecraft grade copper. Wrong one. Shit. It all kind of looks the, like almost the same. There we go. Napalm B. I don't even know what this is. Like, you can't even throw it. Like, honestly. It sucks. I like dump it on somebody's brain. Nope. Fine, I'll close it. Close it. Poor freaking uh, PewDiePie comes in here. You're looking hella suspicious. Close! Oh my god. You know, I'd be dead right now. Honestly. You know what? Fine. Fine. I see. Prepare. Prepare. Okay, we do not need any more mint napalm. This stuff absolutely sucks because I can't use it. Do you know how many people's houses I would burn down if I could use it? And next, last but not least, oh frick, now PewDiePie is in here. <laughs> hey look, it's right on top of my freaking breeding reactor. You know you're getting exposed to hazardous levels of radiation, right, sir? Sir? Whatever. Close. Ha, now you're stuck here with me. I see no god up here, except for... Okay, never mind. Way to ruin it, honestly. Oh, wow, look at that. You can't get out. Look at that. Advanced alloy ingot. Look at that. Very nice. And you get uh, two of those per... Uh, per uh, one of these. Uh, a set of those, yeah. There's the PA alloy plate I was talking about. And with that, that really that wraps up our lovely mod for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. The That wraps up the HPM Nicolor Tech Mod. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Cue the awful intro. Outro, I mean. <laughs> anyway, goodbye.